And joining me live now is the Queensland Deputy Opposition Leader, Jared Blay. Jared, thanks so much for your time. Um, do you think this is a good move Pleasure. from the Queensland Government? Well, we've welcomed the parliamentary inquiry into this because it is a serious issue in our community. But it's a serious issue that's been around for so many years. Our Shadow Health Minister, Rod Spates, has been raising the issue of vaping with young children for years now, and the government have ignored it. We do have a youth justice bill crisis that's being debated this week in Parliament, so the cynic in me would suggest that this is a look-over-here approach. The other thing, though, Laura, is that... It depends which day of the week you wake up to see which Premier we have for the day. Because only a week ago, Anastasia Palaszczuk was softening the laws on illicit drugs and allowing party drugs into our concerts and venues for young people. And then today, now we've got this tough stance on e-cigarettes. So it does depend which day of the week in Queensland you wake up with whether the Premier's soft on illicit drugs and hard on e-cigarettes. And today she's obviously for whatever reasons, going after the e-cigarettes. Yeah, look I, look, I think all jurisdictions in Australia have been too slow on what to do a about vaping, and it might just be a look over their strategy. I don't know, uh, Jared, but uh, even so, uh, Queensland seemed to be moving a little bit faster than any of the other states, and this is uh, a growing problem. What do you think should happen? I mean, there can be a parliamentary inquiry. That's just going to, um, I think, waste a bit of time. Um, anecdotally, if you speak to any parents, if you, you know, just are outside and see the amount of people vaping, we know it's a problem that's only going to get worse. Well, you're absolutely right, Laura. Serious issue in our community, particularly the young people. And they're selling them in bubblegum flavours. It's the colour packaging. So young, impressionable teenagers in Queensland see it. And, and the older students are giving it to them, selling it to them. And they don't know what they're inhaling because... A parliamentary inquiry, you know, the Premier wants to set up a parliamentary inquiry and the health experts can do all they want and say what's in it, what's not in it. But the reality is some of these vapes are being made up. People are putting what they want in them. And so you don't know if it's insecticide or whatever the case is. Um, but you would have to be you would have to be walking around blind to not know this was an issue in Queensland for years now. Students keep telling us. I've got two teenagers in, in high school and they tell us how much how prevalent this is in our communities, in our schools. So we'll absolutely support the parliamentary inquiry. It's a bipartisan inquiry, so that's good. But the reality is, I would have thought Yvette Darth, the health minister, with a whole bureaucracy, would have been able to have the experts to actually tell her for the last few years how dangerous these are for young people and what government could have done about it. So it may be that the parliamentary mm. inquiry will take however long, but the government could be acting and they could have acted a lot sooner on this. Yeah, I mean, what would you do? Because you can still get these by a prescription, right? That's how you're meant to be able to buy them. That is clearly not happening because these thousands and thousands of people um, buying them in convenience stores or wherever they're buying them off the internet clearly don't have prescriptions. Should they be treated like cigarettes? Well, there's certainly regulation in place now, but what's happening is the Queensland Government haven't been enforcing the regulation. I've, I know I've written to the Government about illegal, they call them chop shops, underground counter sales of these e-cigarettes that containing uh, nicotine or whatever the case is. They're, they're happening all across Queensland at the moment with what looks like a, a legitimate enterprise, a legitimate business. But the reality is a lot of these people are actually selling under the counter mm. uh, these uh, e-cigarettes to minors, people that shouldn't even be able to buy them. So there are regulations in place. It's just the Queen, Queensland Government haven't told the Health Department to actually go out and enforce these. Yeah, sure, and in some aspects, that, we've been pleading with the it's, government. Where are we getting them from? I mean, they're being, they're in, being imported uh, mostly from uh, China, well, I believe. Absolutely. Yep. Well, they're being imported, but, Laura, they're also being imported uh, as, a, as a blank cassette and people are um, putting their own ingredients in them. That's how dangerous yeah. they are because when a young person, a teenager... Like, as I said, I've got two young teenagers in high school and uh, a couple of years ago in the school playground, uh, an, elder, an older student was trying to get my son's group to, to have e-cigarettes and vape and not having any idea what was in it from a student's perspective in terms of making it. So huge issues. There are regulations in place. And maybe in the parliamentary inquiry, if they're saying that, you know, one of the questions we'll be asking is, well, to the health minister, you've got the regulation in place. Yeah. Why, have, why haven't you been enforcing it yet? Because if the laws are in place, they should have been enforcing it and, and, and closing down these shops that are illegally selling e-cigarettes and vapes to minors. Sure. It does sound like a federal government issue, though, doesn't it? Um, the states can't really do this alone. 
Well, it's both. The importation, of course, is the federal government responsibility. The uh, regulation around, obviously, cigarettes is a federal government responsibility. But in state, uh, the states have... Uh, a great deal of power they can actually deal with this in terms of from a health perspective and the regulation which we have which the health minister herself admitted yesterday at the press conference announcing this parliamentary inquiry they do have regulation around it so the state does have uh, power to deal with this uh, they've just got to get on and do with it but okay. i think the mixed messaging and the confusion the confusing aspect in this law is the, the Premier has introduced laws to allow you to walk around in Queensland with a gram of illicit drugs, um, meth, ice, cocaine. Uh, she's allowing party drugs now to take place with pill testing at concerts, and then she's going hard after e-cigarettes. So there is a mixed message in Queensland. I think Queenslanders are actually asking, what on earth is going on here? We don't understand it. But we need to take a tough stance on illegal cigarettes, illegal mm -hmm. e-cigarettes, e e particularly to young people, just as we should with the illicit drugs. OK, Jared Blay, thanks so much for your time. We're not going to let this one go. Appreciate it. Good on you. Thank you, Laura. Cheers.